we are going to discuss on a very unique subject and which will be new and upcoming in the world scenario as well is how to effectively conduct technical audit on power plant chemistry you already know about me and here i share my screen so that you are able to view what i am going to present we are going to talk more upon the system creation as processes in power plant chemistry department is very important then now here we are going to talk on the another aspect that is effectiveness or product audit then we'll talk about compliance audit and efficiency audit here in effectiveness or the product audit which is the external aspect as whether the product or service is as per the customer requirement or not in visible product companies such as fmcg or automobile or other product companies like fridge manufacturers etc the effectiveness drives the customer satisfaction while with a power plant station the quality of the product for customer satisfaction is seldom seen as you can't see the power as it still remains as an efficiency of a power plant to generate electricity at what frequency and how much electricity there is only one aspect and its impact which is measurable as a product for a power plant that is continuous power supply or no power outage when we talk about the subject here the power station chemistry department within the department as a supplier chemistry department has customers such as main operations or btg operations and chp or ehp and sometimes the even the environmental department is also the customer for chemistry department the products can go through the effectiveness or product audit which is the dm water or the effluent in their processes in the second type the compliance audit there may be two or even three aspects which could be dealt by chemistry department those are dm water quality against the standard adopted by the plant the strata water quality again the standard adopted by the plant the condensate polishing unit outlet water quality against the ses standards the standards may be from vgb or from epri or from oem standards the quality of treated effluent against the set standard by legal or regulatory authority is another aspect where the compliance audit may be required if we have isla isla means interdepartment service level agreements then a compliance audit can be done on the compliance of isla as well with various departments such as operations chp ehp or mechanical maintenance department now why mechanical maintenance department is for analysis of quality of oil then we come to the last but it is the most important aspect in power plant chemistry and also very important in this part of training is efficiency audit where a chemistry department can be audited for its water treatment like clarification filtration then reverse osmosis or ion exchanger or electrodeionization even the heat exchanger efficiencies or the condenser efficiencies can also be audited because these have the effect of the treatment qualities which chemistry department maintains now sample quality is not included in this efficiency but sample collection and sample reporting efficiency is also important because during upset conditions the reporting of the sample quality is very important sample collection may be speeded up once in 1 hour or once in 30 minutes and the reporting efficiency is also important in upset conditions 
and we already talked about the cooling tower and condenser efficiencies. Now here you must note that effectiveness is an effect to external environment or effect to the customer like DM water quality is the effect to the customer while efficiency is internal and to assess the performance and the opportunity of improvement like for example if the OBR output between regeneration of your ion exchanger is not up to the mark or not matching with the inlet water quality then that is a subject for an efficiency audit as well. Importantly here that for all the above it is important that the power station chemistry department creates processes with CPOC that is supply input process output to the customer table and then it makes the processes with stages and it has SOPs standard operating procedures OCPs operational control procedures WI that is work instructions and documentations these documentations has to be kept on a file which is secured for better experiences plant must shift from excel sheets for maintaining these records to software where the data integrity is well maintained